Welcome to the Terraria Game Show, where I pit six YouTubers against each other in a battle of answering 10 Terraria trivia questions. A total of 15 points can be obtained with a bonus point at the end. I'm Deadbug, but now let's hear the contestants introduce themselves. Hello everyone, my name's M10. So yeah, thank you very much Wonder Sparking for uh, inviting me to be part of this video. I'm very excited, let's go. All right, well, uh, I am Jetstream. I make, I make memes and uh, people watch them and people like them. So I continue making memes. Hello, my name is Little Terrain. I'm mostly known for my Terraria videos based on mobile. I'm Bungie from the YouTube channel, Aggressive Bungie. Uh, I make videos on whatever I want, really, but usually I, like, check out or analyze some features or items in Terraria. My name is Adam Chrome E, and on YouTube, and thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, my name is AP. My YouTube channel is APSTP. Alright, question one. For one point, name any one of the Terraria 1.4.1 achievements. For an additional point, name another. Leading Landlord. Uh, Fae Flyer. <laughs> I feel like this should be um, easier than than it is. Since since you only make mobile content, if you want, can you name three regular achievements from the game? Three regular achievements? Um, well, placing your first workbench. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, managing to go down to the underworld and managing to go up to space. Cool. I have one. What a ghoul neighborhood for ghosts. Graveyard. Uh, heliophobia. Uh, when you max out the happiness, you get that achievement. Uh, when you make terra, terra box boot, you get. Oh god, this this is hard. Okay, yeah. Uh... Question two. What item do you get when you combine the Hermes boots and rocket boots at the Tinkerer's Workshop for a single point? Spectre boots. The, uh, Spectre. Uh, the Frost Spark boots? Hermes and rocket? Yes. Spectre. That's Spectre boots. Get the Spectre boots. Question three. What is the most expensive item in Terraria 1.4.1, and how do you get it for one point? Expensive? I think it's the companion cube from the Traveling Merchant. Okay, th this this is going to be my answer. Go for the it. The diamond ring from the Traveling Merchant. Um, uh, my guess is on the coin gun. And you get it from the pirate invasion? I'm gonna say companion cube from the traveling merchant. Is it the companion cube? I don't know this one. Question four. Can you name six out of eight female NPCs? Again, for one point. Okay. Uh, princess, party girl, nurse, dryad, Zoologist, mechanic. There we go. Well, let's just check my uh, search history. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, dryad, nurse, steampunker. We'll we'll count the zoologist as a you know human being. Uh, stylist, um, princess, of course. There's the the mechanic, the dryad, the nurse, mm -hmm. um, party girl, uh, nurse. Dryad, party girl, stylist, mechanic, princess. I think that's a new one they added. Nurse, geologist, uh, stylist, steampunker, dryad, and party girl. And party girl. Zoologist, dryad, uh, mechanic, steampunker, party girl, and the stylist. Question five. For one point, which NPC does the angler love? Merchant? The stylist. The nurse? Isn't it the pirate? 
got the princess, right? The pirate? Question 6. For one point, what does the SDMG stand for? And for an additional point, what is its PC drop chance? I'll give you a range of about 6%, so you can be 3% under or over. Well, it stands for Space Dolphin Machine Gun, and it's a 1 in 11 drop chance. So about 9% drop chance. Okay, so uh, Space Dolphin Machine Gun, and it has a 12.5 drop chance. Is it the Super Dolphin Machine Gun? Uh, 0 0.2? All right, uh, Space Dolphin Machine Gun. I know at one point it was 11, but I'm not sure it was changed in the update. I think I'm going to stick with 11. Space Dolphin Machine Gun, it drops with a chance of 11%, I think. Space Dolphin Machine Gun, 14%. Question 7. Name 3 out of 10 swords that make up the zenith for 1 point. There's an additional point if you can name 6. Terrorblade, Meow Mia, Star Wrath, Beekeeper, Enchanted Sword, Star Fury. Okay, um, Seedler. Well, Copper Short Sword, Terrorblade, uh, Influx Waver, Seedler, Star Fury, and Star Wrath. Uh, Copper short sword, mm -hmm. the B sword. Mm -hmm. I what the other one was That's called. fine. That works. We got the the terra blade, the what is it? The pumpkin sword, pumpkin moon sword. I forget that. No, the headless horseman sword, the seedler, the enchanted blade, star fury sword, the meow mirror. All right, copper short sword, uh, enchanted sword, horseman's blade. Terra Blade. Beekeeper? Oh, uh, Meow Mirror. Yep, Terra Blade. Star Fury. Uh, Cooper Short Sword. Meow Mare. Star Race. Uh, I can think of that one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think I forgot. Copper Short Sword. Terra Blade. Influx Waver, uh, Seedler, uh, Star Wrath, uh, oh, Star Fury, is it? Question 8. What is the Master Mode description text for one point? Only the worthiest will survive, or something like that, I don't know. I'm gonna say for the worthy, but I don't know if that's actually true. That's something I don't know, honestly. Uh, game over, man. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Nope, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Question nine: What is the only boss that won't drop a treasure bag in expert mode? Another point can be obtained if you tell me what is the only item, excluding coins, that is dropped from this bag. Lunatic Cultist. Uh, ancient Manipulator. That is the Lunatic Cultist, and he drops the, uh... Well, it's it's not his mask. The Wall of Flesh? I'm guessing it's the, the Vanity Set? Lunatic Cultist and Lunatic Cultist Mask. Uh, Lunatic Cultist, I think? Yep. And... Ancient Man Manipulator? Oh, Lunatic Cultist. Uh, nope. Question 10. For two points, what is the lowest mana usage item in the game? The Wand of Sparking? Yep. Maybe the Wand of Sparking? Golden Chow? I'm torn between the Razor Pine and the Magic Harp. I, I think I'm going to stick with the Harp. Is it? Is is that obvious one or wand of sparkling? Is it the uh, wand of sparking? And finally, for one bonus point, 
What is the name of your very first public video? I think it's a razor pine tutorial or it'll be defeating the twins. I think, I don't know which ones are public. Okay, um, I'll give you half a point. You got it on the second try. Um, so the very first public video, you gotta go pretty deep. It's the Troria RNG Lava Bucket Challenge. That uh, is correct. Posted six years ago. Yep. Um, it's called, well, it's since I'm specifically based on mobile, I first started off doing a little, like, all items map. Uh, my first, you know what, I'm not gonna answer that question. Don't Starve Hamlet episode or part, I don't know which one, uh, part one, Bog and Loot. This Minecraft villager is broken. Uh, right now it's, I think it's called my, my first ever video or something. Before I show the final score, I wanted to quickly say this is all just for fun, and these are some really great channels, regardless of how many points they got. So we have a three-way tie. Congrats to M10, Aggressive Bungie, and Adam Chromey for first place. Second place is another tie between Jetstream and APSTP, following is Little Terrarian in third place. Good work, everyone. Make sure to check out all of these awesome channels, and of course the links are in the description below. And don't forget to show this video some love by liking, commenting, and subscribing. This has been Deadbug. See you next time.